Hey, welcome back. We're in Exodus chapter 13, verses 17 and 18 today. Let's read it. Now, when Pharaoh had let the people go, God did not lead them by the way of the land of the Philistines, even though it was near. For God said the people might change their minds when they see war and return to Egypt. Hence, God led the people around by the way of the wilderness to the Red Sea. And the sons of Israel went up in martial array from the land of Egypt. Well, God's people are now on the march. They're leaving Egypt. But God chooses not to take them by the most direct route. That's kind of weird. Well, the most direct route is along the... Uh, the lowlands along the Mediterranean coast it takes them would take them right through Philistia, today's Gaza, um, and God chooses not to take them that way. Why? Well, we understand from history the Philistines were very, uh, at a certain points in time, they were very strong militarily. At one point, they actually even went back and invaded Egypt and thought they could make some gains from Egypt. I mean, Egypt is kind of like the superpower, so... Uh, so yeah, so this, this, these people, Philistines, they were prepared for war. They were quite a thorn in, in the side later on. Uh, so this is a military. Now here come the Hebrews and what? They have, you know, maybe a butter knife. Uh, they haven't trained for war in Egypt. They've not been allowed to train for war. Uh, for 400 years, they've been under bondage to this. This is a band of slaves and mixed uh, folks there, they're not ready for any big fight. And so God doesn't bring them where they go like straight up against the Philistines. Now, yes, God could have destroyed uh, the Philistines. He could have just wiped them out and uh, cleared the path. Here you go. But the Philistines, they haven't, their wrath, his wrath against them isn't, f but God's wrath against the Philistine isn't full yet because the sin of the, the iniquity of the Philistines isn't full yet. So God is like, he's like just all the time. He doesn't just say, well, yeah, these people, there they are, but they're in the way. I'll just wipe them out. God doesn't, God doesn't deal that way with, with anybody. And so here he's sending his people, and he's thinking about their psychology. Uh, we've been in bondage for centuries. You know, my ancestors, my grandfather, my great-grandfather, they were all under this Egyptian bondage. And, and now what? I'm supposed to take a stick and, and uh, win in a fight against these guys and know what they're doing? So God leads them along and takes them the wilderness route. He takes them away, and a lot of, we find biblically a lot of different times. It was the same with Moses. Moses thought he was ready to lead the Hebrews to victory, but uh, he found out that he was he was wrong, and he went out and he had to learn how to, how to be a leader by shepherding sheep for so many years out in the desert. So he comes back, and God has a lot of times a different way to get us where he wants us to go. So here now he's going to take the Hebrews out into the wilderness as a people, and they're going to take, wind up taking a fairly long way, not that God intends for them to take the longest route. But what we're going to have here, though, is God is trying to train them, bringing them up, get them some spiritual discipline. And he has a plan, and he's not going to lead them straight up to where they're going to turn around and run back to Egypt, where there's nice, convenient food. All right, we'll carry right on tomorrow morning. God bless you.